doesn't weigh three pounds, it's pretty easy to move around the battlefield. Hence the name three pounder because of the size of the weight uh, the, uh, of the projectile launching. Well, solid three pound cannonball um, at long range, about in the effective yards, about 300 yards. At close range, you use a three pound charge of 32 musket balls called break shot, like a giant shotgun at about 100 yards. It takes a, a crew of six stout uh, men to operate the cannon, and they all have their Stock. Second gunner, that's me. And then the uh, the pattern monkey uh, back there by the cartridge box. And we're missing a gun commander, but I'll take the uh, command of, the, of that as, as well. That would be given the, uh, the order. The first order would be to search the piece. That's given to the first patrol. We've got the uh, worm. The worm is an iron corkscrew at the end of the ramrod, and that's used to search the bore of the gun from the remnants of the last powder charge. The, and the Revolutionary War, the Americans use a linen sack of gunpowder for their cannon, so there would actually be burning linen at the bottom of the cannon after each firing. So we don't want that in there, but we're going to be putting more powder down there. So that is what the search for peace uh, step is for. The second command is sponge the piece. The second one trust uses the sponge to sponge the cannon. Listen, did you hear that pop? That pop means that there's a vacuum inside the cannon. Fire can't burn in the vacuum, so anything that's uh, Cartridge. 